Hey everyone, 8 Bit Flashback here, and today I'm going to be testing out a Game Boy Advance emulator for the Nintendo Switch with Homebrew Menu installed running 5.0.2 firmware. And if you want to know how to install the Homebrew Menu, plus do a Joy-Con hack to get into recovery mode, please check out my previous video down in the description below. Alright, time to check out the simulator. So all of us that are part of the homebrew scene are patiently waiting for RetroArch to write some new emulators on the newer firmwares like the 5.02. But until that day happens, we do have a couple temporary solutions for emulators on the Switch. A user over on the Game Boy Temp website by the name of Jackeye Backeye, which I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, was nice enough to code over a couple different emulators for the Switch. One for Game Boy Advance and one for Game Boy Color. But for this video, we're just going to be concentrating on the Game Boy Advance emulator. And I'll make sure to post a link to this website down below. And what you want to do is you want to click on the newest link that's available and today it's going to be version 7. Then you want to go ahead and save that file to your computer and once it's done downloading you want to go ahead and open that and that is going to be in a zip file. So you want to go ahead and open that zip file and inside there is going to be the file we need to transfer over to our Switch memory card. So located on the root of your memory card for your Nintendo Switch you're going to want to make a folder called Switch in all lowercase. Now we're going to grab the Game Boy Advance NRO file here and drag this over and drop it inside this Switch folder. Now it's time to open up the Switch folder, and inside there, we're going to make another folder called ROMs. After you make that folder, you want to go ahead and open that folder up, and we're going to make another folder called GBA for Game Boy Advance. And this is where we're going to put our Game Boy Advance ROMs. Now this emulator does not come with any ROMs, so you're going to have to find those on your own, but it's pretty simple to do. Just Google Game Boy Advance ROMs, and that'll put you in the right direction. Okay, the Game Boy Advance emulator is now set up and ready to go. Now we just need to put that memory card back in our Switch and power it up into recovery mode and access the homebrew menu. And if you notice here, I have a custom icon for my Game Boy Advance emulator. Uh, when you go to use this emulator, it will not have an icon. And I'll explain how to make custom icons in a future tutorial. Now I'm going to push A to launch the emulator. And then from there, I can just scroll up or down to select the ROM I want to play. So this emulator doesn't have a whole lot of features. And it probably never will because as soon as RetroArch releases their version, this one's going to become obsolete. But for now, this is a great alternative to play Game Boy Advance games. As far as the gameplay goes, most of the games seem to run at full speed. But there's definitely some issues. Uh, one of the biggest issues I would say is the sound. Um, this game in particular, the sound is okay, but some games sound quite a bit worse. So now I'm going to go ahead and test out another game, and to do that I just press the home button, then I relaunch that emulator, then select the ROM I want. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. If you liked that video, please click that like button. If you want to hear more from me, please subscribe. 